Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see I have MIUI 8 running on my Xiaomi Mi 3 over here and this is going to be a comprehensive review of MIUI 8 and in this video I'll show you almost all the features which are present in MIUI 8 and the MIUI 8 is surely a very good upgrade from MIUI 7 because MIUI 7 was just like a theme which was present on MIUI 6 there were not really many features added but that's not the case with MIUI 8 MIUI 8 surely has tons of features added as compared to MIUI 7. So before further delay, let's get started. And all the MIUI 8 ROMs will be based on Android Marshmallow. So almost latest as of now, Android N will be released in a month or so. So till the time MIUI 8 global version ROM comes out, Android N will be released in my opinion. So first of all, let's start with the notification bar and there are a bunch of new things added. So search bar is present over here by which you can search for different applications which are present in your phone or you can search for contacts also so if i want to search for my brother's contact then uh, it is present over here i can directly call or do whatever i want or if i want to search for any application clash of clans for example it will show over here so pretty neat stuff then we have weather settings icon is also present over here then quick settings toggle to enable or disable anything you want then notifications are present over here so as you can see there are two new messages from my brother actually i only send those so if you want to extend this then if you try to do this then those messages will not expand so what you can do is use two fingers and just swipe it will show the messages and guys if you do not like this single page notification bar and you want the dual page notification bar then obviously you can go ahead and change that also so for that you can select over here separate and it will become separate over here and after this now let's talk about the recent app tray music player shortcuts are present on the top and there is a small button over here and if you press this button then these apps will shrink or expand according to that or uh, if you do not like this then you can do this also then there are some new changes in the volume bar so if i press the volume down button and if i press over here i can change volume of all the things so first is notification then music and then alarms then we have something called as frequent phrases which is added in mui 8 so if you click over here now then it will show you frequent phrases and i have added few phrases like uh, omg that's great let's get subscribed and if I click on that, it will be added to the space where I was typing. And this is going to be very good feature for people who reply something like K, H, M, M, M again and again. In Android N, if you press the power button twice, it will open up the camera application. But in MIUI 8, that does not happen. And if you want to open up camera application, then press the volume button twice and it will open up the camera application over here and you can take pictures directly from here and now you cannot switch to front facing camera by doing this you have to press over here then only it will switch to front facing camera and if you want to access to the filter if you do like this it won't take you to the filters you have to press over here to see the filters uh, I don't know why Xiaomi removed it but anyways we can't do much about that and guys there is no doze mode enabled on this ROM even if it is running on marshmallow doze mode is disabled over here bunch of features to save your battery are added in the ROM now so for that go into security then go into battery and analyze battery usage will analyze battery usage will analyze the apps which are using your battery and apps which are consuming your battery on a large scale then it will say usage time temperature and battery capacity so 3010 mAh battery capacity is present 39 degrees Celsius is the current temperature of the battery and 3 hours is the usage time if we go into battery saver mode then you can enable battery saver and the battery icon over here will turn yellow and uh, battery use will show you the apps which are using your battery and the battery graph is different now it's like a line which looks simplistic in my opinion after that app battery saver is present which will enable you to save battery considering a single application i want to completely make sure that chrome application will not take any amount of battery when it's running in the background then i can select restrict background activity and this app will be close to save power always so thumbs up to that and there are a bunch of features like this if you want to read those features then just pause the video right now and you can read those and after this now let's talk about some new features which are added in miui 8 which are really great so the first feature is cloned apps and by using this feature you can use two whatsapp numbers in a same phone you can use two facebook accounts in the facebook application in a similar phone so i have created two whatsapp over here so you can see one whatsapp and another whatsapp so this is my primary whatsapp which i use on day to day basis and this is a cloned whatsapp which i can access and enable 
for a different number if I have another number. And this can be done with almost all the applications which are present on the phone. Now let's see how to take a very long screenshot on MIUI 8. For that, hold the volume down button and power button together which will take normal screenshot then click over here and select short longer over here. And after that, you can just swipe down and say stop over here. It will process for some time and it will take a very long screenshot. As you can see, this is the screenshot. So if you go into settings, then go into additional settings, touch assistant, turn on shortcut menu. You will get something like this, which has multiple features such as back button. If you want to take a screenshot, just press over here. It will take a screenshot. If you want to open up music application, you can do that from here only. And not only this, you can customize this menu completely. So let's assume that you do not want the home button option to be over here. Instead of that, you want it to open Clash of Clans. Then you can select that and Clash of Clans application will be open as soon as you press it. After this, now let's talk about some of the beta features which are present in MIUI 8. For that, go into additional settings once again, then you will find something as beta features. These beta features are available only in the alpha ROM as of now. Whenever you will get a global update of MIUI 8, these features won't be in beta stage. These features will be present somewhere else. So battery saver application. Uh, so as I told you earlier, battery saver application is present over here. In test battery, you will come to know all the applications which are using your battery. So Clash of Clans has used almost 1315 mAh of battery. After that, if we go into app invisible, you can completely hide any application from your menu. So let's assume that you do not want to see WhatsApp application. So you can select OK. And the WhatsApp application which was present over here earlier uh, at the time of showing you cloned apps is not present over here. And to access that once again, go into settings and deselect this application if you want to see that application once again on your home screen. So that's back over here. And finally, Xiaomi has added users feature which was present since Lollipop, but that was not added in MIUI. Finally, they have added that feature and named it as second space. Uh, basically, it's just same as different users. And here you can add only two users and you cannot add three or four users in your phone. So select turn on second space over here and this second space will be completely different and this second space will not have any application or any data which was present in space one. So if we go into the gallery application right now, you will not be able to see any picture over here because all those pictures were taken in space one and those pictures will not be present over here. And if you want to move some data from space one to space two, you can use the option of move data. If you want to switch back to space one, just press on the switch button. It will switch back to space one. Now there is one very small but helpful update in my opinion. So for that, go into calculator application, then click over here and select currency. By using this, you can convert rupees to dollars or dollars to euros, anything like that. So if you want to convert 10,000 rupees to US dollars, it's 149. If, if you want to convert 160 dollars to rupees, you can convert that also. And I guess I'm going to use this a lot and not only currency, but you can also check temperature, speed, time, mass, area, volume, length, scientific calculator. After this, now let's talk about the image editor which is added in MIUI 8. So let's take this image and let's edit this one. So for that, click on edit. Bunch of new filters are added as you can see. So I can add some filters. If I want to crop this picture, I can do that also. And by the way, this is MI Wi-Fi Router 3. If you want to see review of this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because review for this product will be coming real soon. If you want to doodle something, you can do that. So image editor was really nice, but I do not know why Xiaomi focused so much on image editor because there are just a bunch of filters added, not nothing else. After this, let's take this video and edit this one. Yes, you can edit videos in MIUI 8 also. So this is the video. So if you want to add some filters, you can add those filters from here. So Okay, I like this sunny one. Then you can add text. Uh, so let's write Dhananjay. Okay, so the text will be shown over here before the video starts. Then you can also add audio. Audios, some audios are already in built. So, bunch of audios are present. But if you have your own audio, then go into select and select which are audio you want to add. So by using this, you can surely edit videos on your phone and add your voiceover into the video. And if you want to go to advanced menu or advanced settings, then it will take you to the Kind Master application, which has 
bunch of more features as compared to MIUI 8's video editor application but the problem with Kind Master is that it will have a Kind Master logo on top of your video so when whenever you try to upload a video it will have saying Kind Master video or edited by Kind Master which is not the case with the MIUI 8 so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach triple five likes on this video and i surely try to add as many features as possible but whenever a final global beta rom will be released for all the devices and yes and all xiaomi devices which are released in india since mi3 will be getting miui 8 update in coming one or two months and if you want to see how to install the miui 8 rom on your phone then whenever it will be released for public i will do that video so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching